Hello everyone, this is Prashant, welcome to the channel. So this is actually the 13th video of this entire series. So in this I am going to cover the uh, remaining portions on the actions. Uh, like how to use a tab and uh, a tab and similar to is a uh, click but this like clicking a faster. Okay, tab, long press. After that we will see if the swipe. Previously we saw the up and scroll, right? Swipe is similar to like scrolling towards in the y axis okay sorry x axis then we are going to see the double tap okay okay so i will i will cover the previous topic what we done so in the previous topic we were teaching like uh, finding the x uh, like x i value and y is generally if i scroll up means where I'm going, where I'm starting, so like that, okay. So if I, like this is the going to bottom. So if you go to top means what you'll do, this will, uh, both will replace, swap, okay. So the here 0 0.3 will be here, 0 0.8, like suppose you're going to the top of the page, okay. So that is the difference. So this is last week we done for going to the bottom, okay. So if it is, this is an opposite means, that is for top, like in the screen, okay. So, and that too, last week I taught you towards the, how to use the location base, location means x axis, y axis, okay. So, I am going to create a, uh, the new method, okay. So, like to tell you like our basic things, how to tab, okay. That is towards the web element, not the location. So, the same things. So I'm going to first this topic tab. So same I'm copying this action builder. We keep the same code, but in this place, take an example. I'm having this web element. Take an example. This is a skip button. Okay. Skip equal to in the click. I'm not clicking here because I'm storing the variable right now. So skip dot click. Now we understand the uh, use of variable, right? Variable is like you can use multiple times if you didn't store in a variable means you can't use it okay now i want to tab the skip button not clicking tab tab is always what is the difference between click and tab is like click is like slowly happens tab is like faster action that is for mobile not for web okay mostly we, we talk while speaking with the mobile you say like tab the button okay so the whole thing right now we go to the mode two so previously we have doing the location move to location but this is move to web element okay then what you want to do here we are doing two things pointed down pointed up because first we going to one location pointing down and going to other location pointing up right now we are doing the same thing in the same point okay our same web element so pointed down and pointer up see this right how, how faster this is actually i keep in this location Actually, after that only it's perform will come on this. Okay, this so you want to use a tab button. So now we understand right how tab works to the web element. So now what will do happen? This pointer will go to the skip button and point out like point up. Okay, like it uh, like this, down and up. Okay, and uh, so even sometimes uh, point down. Uh, other option is we can use a touch. Okay. So when you are using any scroll up and down, we, you can use finger, but when you are using a tab means try to use a, use a touch in this place, okay, instead of finger. Like scroll up, scroll up, swipe, those places, like a faster place, any fingering spaces you can use finger, any touch places you can use touch, okay. I hope I cleared the basics. Now go to the long press. So it's the same thing only, so what is the long press? Long press is something we click more than a second, like we want to keep the finger longer time, okay. So so you can guess something, what could be the addition step we need to have in this place. If you guess means, it's like a, I will give you a couple of minutes, you can guess it, what could be. So we need a time, so we need to give some time to keep the down, then after that release it, like point of. So here I'm going to put another dot pass in the pass here you want to mention the seconds okay so 
as was i mentioning two minutes it it pass for two seconds then it will release a button so suppose in your code in your uh, application somewhere some buttons it is saying like you want to long press 10 times even anyone old on mobile automation means whenever you want to bring the development option in the mobile means you want to open your settings app go to the version yeah, on the build number you want to click 15 times or 10 times to enable the developer option same like that is a long press okay or multiple tab okay cool right okay this is the long press so always i am trying to make a simpler one like uh, make it easy for to learn okay same thing but you want to use a pass next one is swipe so basically uh, uh, like this kind of things are two uh, uh, kind of thing swipe is like you uh, you want swiping towards x axis previously we are going to y axis like up and down this is left to right right to left left to right in that manner so when you are in mobile means suppose take an example amazon app so you want to scroll uh, like swipe to see the products in mobile right so so in the same place in this place we are changing the y axis okay because going up and down like vice versa now we want to work on x axis where to start where to end so in this place you will change the same pattern what pattern we are following right you will use the same thing for swipe okay so so another thing is uh, swipe is generally uh, uh, like two ways of swipe happen one is location basis this one right now i taught you location basis same thing we can do in the web element basis about uh, uh, suppose you have two web element or you are having a first product and last product you store the web elements so what you'll do so you want to do two things so first thing is you want to go to one web element and next element you want to go so where you want to go so you want to simply make an element like take an example there you want to use a pointer up okay got right then these are two actions when more than one, uh, so what you'll do this two action will happen so it will start with one, one element it goes to another element so what is another pattern for uh, this one means using locations so in this instead of taking one x axis i will take two x axis okay one is starting point and another one is ending point axis cool right then i'm going to shoot double tap so basically this double tap is it will help you lot of times somewhere uh, if you want to click the buttons or selections uh, means you want to use a double tap okay now you can ask me like how we can use a double tap because here i taught you first time you will click but i want to click twice understood right you want to click on twice but in the same location so i am pasting again so i don't want to move why because i am already in the location so this is the first tab and in the second tab so this is called double tab so once you move to the location you are up and down and again what you doing down and up so like down means like t- take an example of button in a laptop when you click means it goes down and if you release means it's up up that's it up and down so this is the way we need to make a double tap okay so the, i don't know all the things we will use on daily basis but the things are you, you need to keep on uh, remembering these things is much important okay another one thing is like i i uh, i have one uh, project requirement a uh, flicker okay so what is use of flicker is like uh, first of all what do you, you want to understand what is a flicker so flicker is something like uh, like faster swipe like uh, even uh, i was working for this kind of uh, ab testing so we want to monitor how many users have doing faster okay so if you are scrolling slow means that is scroll if you are faster flicking means we call this a flick action okay so generally uh, how how do that means in the same pattern okay take an example you want to uh, from somewhere to somewhere you want to flick like flicker means scroll faster scroll okay so how how, how can i make a faster means in the this is the same code uh, i'm copying the same code for your example uh, uh, like listen carefully so flicker the same code only so what could be your tenant means i told you 
this is depending on the what the speed of the flicker that means we want to define on what basis so duration so we can say like in my company they told like 250 like 250 uh, seconds means 60 sec like that one second you know it right thousand millisecond so this is 250 millisecond that means quarter of second that faster okay so this will trigger the uh, flicker action okay if i didn't give means my slowly uh, like how manually we scroll that scroll action will do but when you're giving very tighter schedule duration this will happen in a faster flicker so whenever they are asking to uh, uh, flicker do the flicker uh, like sometimes why we are doing this testing means when we fastly flicking or something our app will, uh, like uh, like you know right hang uh, so we do to, to verify our application uh, when it, i think like that you have thousand products in your application so customers keep on flipping means you want to verify that your application not getting any stuck not getting slower so how to verify this this kind of flicker action only you want to bring in the automation to make sure that flick action is didn't break your application or hang or delete okay you know right sometimes our app will hang and it will the, the pop-up will show like uh, stop or wait 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 or quit the app okay so similarly but how you bring in those kind of scenarios in automation means using flickers only okay and uh, this more of things like cover and this is the main thing uh, generally we have uh, one call like zoom but generally they won't expect you to automate the zoom action like so in mobile you know how to zoom like first of all you keep the two fingers in one place like we call it a pinch okay like pinching we say it's a friend's right um, he is pinching like that's the same like you want to pinch with the two location because you want two two location finger one and finger two then you want to move that uh, like how we are doing the same thing it, it, it into any change the same thing but here the point is you want to zoom so we call this a pinch okay and zoom so th like this is a two set of actions so first of all you want to pitch uh, pinch with the two fingers at a time so you know right how to zoom you want to keep a two fingers you know in a in a in one place and gradually increase the fingers up and down like length here. so obviously that place will zoom okay so for this what you what generally what we'll do means so take an example so i have one pointer so this is the take an example is a pointer one i'm pasting again so this is your imagination okay imagine you have two finger this pointer one is one finger uh, pointer two is one finger so first you want to tell where your uh, like your pointer want to match okay like uh, listen carefully first first action is your first pointer okay like pointer one that one finger you are telling your action okay keep in the finger your place okay next for this you want to say this step up and down I, this is i'm telling this is happened for that one finger like one place to another place to another. in the same way you want to do the another action builder so i'm copying the same thing uh, just for your uh, like uh, action so action builder now i'm adding another action this action this action is not coming add or input add add action wait a second it's not coming Let's see action window um, add pointer key action is there okay this is also i'm stuck okay so add input points here you want to tell a c here i have a second finger like second pointer in the pointer you just create the new pointer same move to the location but you want to follow the same pattern what you're doing like x-axis and y-axis okay so you will go to that location okay so this will follow then the same way because this is a all second second app as usual in this place you want to do the pointer down because it's second finger and again 
you want to copy the same this things and release it okay now you got to take that two kind of fingers one finger it was going keep in one place and going here i am adding another pointer it will this finger will touch in another place there it will drag so when this happen this action will perform when this 61th line will trigger okay so this is the pinch and zoom like first two fingers pinch in the respective places from there one finger will go one side another finger will go another side okay so now now you ask me how many parameters we need okay so this and that like two parameters here one double element uh, for swipe i need two double elements like one place two where swipe double tap one double element tab one double element along press one element but this pinch and points this is where the finger start that x axis and y axis and where the finger goes like keep like example down finger and this is totally here four okay at least minimum three minimum three at least and here the same three because it is a top finger you are pinching there from starting point and where you are going point so these are the steps okay we used to do for pinch okay so i covered as much i can in this option but anything you want uh, to know more means uh, please let me know okay so i will try to add that as well but i taught you both things and there is another thing also this is the move to element uh, if you have see like this guy didn't teach me see this this move to by is suppose this is a direct double element but suppose you don't want to give a direct double element means you just copy this this is a by method so you can simply paste it okay so this by is like not double element move to the locator so here i am storing and giving this is a bevel move to move by is like by the id okay so that is a difference uh, basically okay so if you have faced any issues or something or doubts uh, please put me in the comment i try to uh, solve the problem or any uh, the reasons or doubts okay in the next class i am going to uh, talk about that pop ups and all that in a mobile like how to and because in mobile you know right whenever you install the app something will come sometimes not comes uh, like settings so related issues or general or system pop up issue like allowing for mobile allowing for contact allowing for files allowing for photos this kind of always you know when any app you installing this kind of initial things will come so it doesn't all we need to handle in the automation that is much important so i will teach you those things in next class and after that we move to pi test so when when you to move to pi test means then uh, after the pi test we'll go to the page of the model like how to implement that in the automation framework there i'm going to create a fresh framework so that uh, probably will start from uh, day 17 or 18 so it will take hardly 3 to 4 classes uh, for the framework development in the last time planning for before the uh, 27 2010 all three sessions are live uh, q and a sessions i will clarify your doubts like how to solve this and what are the problems you faced and interviews question related to the apm mobile automation okay so i am also learning new things because all the new versions have new things i cannot able to write my own code what i wrote uh, in my current project because all, I, here i used all the new patterns okay so thanks for watching and if you like the video please share to your friends and subscribe um, thanks for watching